only half Arabic, actually. My dad is Palestinian. I mean, he's a US citizen, he's not a threat to national security or anything. A lot of people want to know that after they meet him because he has an angry energy. But not like angry at America, just angry at my mom for leaving him. Although she did leave because he was angry and he was angry because she's American. My name's Abed, by the way. Abed, uh, nice to know you and then meet you in that order. Now, about that question that I had? Oh, uh, five after 11, when you asked. Abed. Yeah. What's the deal with the hot girl from Spanish class? I can't find a road in there. Well, I only talked to her once while she was borrowing a pencil, but her name is Britta. She's 28, birthday in October. She has two older brothers, and one of them works with children who have a disorder I might want to look up. Oh, and she thinks she's going to flunk tomorrow's test, so she really needs to focus, and she's sorry if that makes her seem cold. Holy crap. Abed, I see your value now. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Oh. Hey, text message. Let's give this bad boy a read. Uh, it's probably just for you. I've never gotten one of these. Uh, they, uh, they're, it's probably you just, uh, just for you. Say you have to pee, I need to talk to you. Say you have to pee. That is weird. Say you have to pee, yeah. I need to talk to you. Do you, you have to pee? No. Mm. That's so weird. Well, I'm stumped. You know, I thought you were like Bill Murray in any of his films, but you're more like Michael Douglas in any of his films. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you have Asperger's. What's going on? Can you guys hear me? Am I deaf? Can you hear me talking right now? Yes. yes? yes. That's good. But maybe when Jeff gets here, we could talk to him as a group about his tardiness. Oh, come on now. Don't use that word around Abed. In any case. Is when it's all over. Spoilers. It's gonna be as if it never even happened. Hey, Abed, mm -hmm. real stories, they don't have spoilers. You understand that TV and life are different, right? Yes. Abed. Yes. Abed. Abed, do you want to trade cards? No. I give you 20 bucks. No. 50 bucks. No. I don't want your money. I want your shirt. What? This is really nice of you. The memo says four dreams. You go host American Idol and you stop messing with my son. He's a special boy. I raise him, okay? You don't raise him. He it was hard enough to talk to him before. Now we have this between us. I'll have to make some adjustments to my film. Jeff, I think you should play the role of my father. I don't want to be your father. That's perfect. You already know your lines. Is that a new camera? Yeah, it's more expensive, but it lets me adjust really specific settings that most people don't notice or think about. So, Abed, how's film class? Good. Yeah? Did you go to class today? Not really. Not really. Well, Britta's paying for those classes. Don't you think maybe you should go? I was shooting my movie. Yeah, but your movie's for class. My movie's more important. What do you think, Dad? I think you are really weird, Abed. Hey. Hey, you don't really have tickets for Ravi Shankar, do you? I lied to get you here because it's time to communicate. Communicate? Have you met Abed? Abed may not be a great filmmaker, but that doesn't mean that he wants to make falafel. You need to let him make his own decisions. Make his own decisions? Have you met Abed? You know Obviously, who he guys. is? Yes, I you know. Have guys, no you're stupid. Stupid. I'm finished. I need to talk to you about Abed. He's not normal. My son is hard to understand. Making movies help him be understood. Then I pay for the class. Abed. Yeah. Did you do all of that to me on purpose? But that's not a very nice way to treat your friends. Well, Britta, it isn't called friend business. It's called show business. Am I crumping? No. Am I crumping? No. Am I crumping? No. Am I crumping now? Gives you sonic hearing. All hearing is sonic. How about you, Abed? It's tomorrow. Oof, tomorrow? They're showing all four Indiana Joneses at the Vista. I'm really looking forward to the first three. I bought a whip. Is it on pause? No. It's just him. <laughs> Sorry you've been waiting 26 hours. Just gonna be another five minutes. Okie dokie. Oh, but you told me to bring subjects. Yeah, subjects, not rain, man. Go home. Go. Cool. See.
Olivia. That was the experiment, Troy. We were testing to see how long people would wait in the room. Whoa. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha? That's all you have to say? Yeah. You sat in a room for 26 straight hours. Didn't that bother you? Yeah, I was livid. Then why didn't you leave? Because you asked me to stay and you said we were friends. Abed, here. I wanted to say sorry for yelling at you. Indiana Jones, cool. I just got the first three because the fourth, fourth one blows. <laughs> We're cool. Hey, man, that stuff I said this morning wasn't true. I was just messing with you. You were lying? Yeah, as a joke. You, you never had somebody mess with you before? Yes, just kidding. No. Like that? This isn't a table. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Troy. Hmm. Did you hear? All dogs are blue now. Every single dog in the world is blue. I'm just messing with you. Yeah, I know. But let me explain to you a few things about how this works. Okay. Uh, first of all, I cannot be God mm -hmm. because I am not gullible like you. Mm -hmm. Secondly, mm -hmm. you are not good at this mm -hmm. because you are not believable in your face, okay? Yes. Your face, Yeah. it's bad. Okay. Um, also, you gotta ride the line between believable and... What are you writing in? It's a notepad. Yeah, but what, you, what language? It's probably Arabic. Beginning transmission. The primary purpose seems to be male bonding, and the attitude during conveyance of the brand of deceit is apparently of great importance. The humanoid is approximately five feet ten inches in what height. What are you doing? Oh, hey, Troy. I didn't see you. Uh, how long were you standing there? You trying to mess with me? Yes, that's what I was doing. You got me. I was just messing with you, but I guess I blew it again. <laughs> yeah. You did. Greetings, Abed. Greetings, Commander. T -t Tell me about the one they call Troy. Well, he is rather arrogant and has no mercy for weaker beings. Stop. Have Stop doing this right game? now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not an alien. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought you were. But this is insane, OK? Th those are credible alien hand movements. You invented a whole language. I'm pretty sure you rented a green screen. Yeah. It would be less creepy if you were actually an alien. But this is what friends do. No. It, from now on, Abed, friends don't mess with each other. OK? Cool. Cool? Cool. Bang, bang. Is this Bruce Hornsby? Yep. Does he know he stole it? Yeah, I don't think so. Let me try it. Can we get sued? Not sure. Will they or won't they? Sexual tension. Abed, it makes the group uncomfortable when you talk about us like we're characters in a show you're watching. Well, that's sort of my gimmick. But we did lean on that pretty hard last week. I can lay low for an episode. Taking a pill? Yes, I am. Xenolevated. My grandpa took that when he was around your age. Fantastic. Really helped him with his going problem, but by the time grandpa got up in years, his memory wasn't great. He mixed the wrong pills. You know how old people are? Heard stories about it, yeah. One time he started hallucinating and ran down the street with no pants on, which in the Gaza Strip is considered a real party foul, so you should probably be careful. Anything look, look I really don't need your advice, and I'm not your pantsless grandpa. <laughs> pantsless grandpa. Can I live with you? Yeah, cool. You want the top bunk or the bottom bunk? Top. Me too. Raise you for it. Boom! Jeff, did I say anything in my sleep last night about farm animals or Brian Williams? I don't think so. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Lucky Charms? How are you so satisfied all the time, Abed? I mean, don't you ever want anything more out of life than cereal? Sometimes I like to pour hot cocoa mix into cold milk and drink it like a cold hot chocolate. I call it special drink. Really great to have somebody to watch stuff with. My dad never wanted to watch anything, so I was kind of raised by TV. TV's the best dad there is. TV never came home drunk. TV never forgot me at the zoo. TV never abused and insulted me. Unless you count Cop Rock. Cop Rock. That sounds cool. Doesn't it? Word of man, a word. Yeah. What am I supposed to do about that? Use your lady parts. Abed! Don't be naive, Britta. The charge between you two was keeping them going. 
Tell him you'll make love to him if he takes a shower and finds a nice place to live. Hey. You look like you moved out. I checked into a motel and I'm looking for apartments. You would have been fine with me staying there forever, huh? Yep. You're pretty cool, I'll bet. You're a huge nerd. Thanks. I know what you're gonna say. You watch my movies on the website. I'm a student of human character. I know you guys all so well, I can predict your behavior. Like, Shirley, I know you're a sweet, Christian, generous person. Oh, oh that's, that's nice. nice. I also know you have thinly veiled rage issues. Careful, Careful boy. boy. Oh. That's my newspaper. What do you need a paper for? You knew what was gonna happen yesterday, you Middle Eastern magic eight ball. Pierce hurt his leg. Where'd have made Troy cry? Somewhere out there. Oh. Troy, sing. The assignment is to train a rat to respond to a specific song. Yeah, did you have to pick a duet? Hmm? Hmm? Somewhere out there, beneath the pale moonlight. He did it. Good boy, Fievel. Commencing reward. I have to open the cage. Fievel. Heck it, let's do this. Is there a rat in here? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, bit. That's will Gray. I thought you might want to help me out because we are friends. Abed, take it from a former prom king. Real friends help me with things, not vice versa. I would face my fears to help you. Exactly, because you're my friend. Am I? Somewhere out there <gasps> what? beneath the Abed. pale moonlight. If he gets any nuttier, they're going to put him on the view. Fievel? 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 Thank you. You think you're better than me? No. You stick to quote movie lines. I'll stick to sports. I'm trying to reduce my pop cultural referencing. Well, you're not moving into sports. Troy and I play basketball. It's fun. Don't gloat. It's impossible to guard you. Your eyes are too gentle and mysterious. Hey. Oh. I can't believe you beat me again. You want my stuffed animal? <laughs> We're arm wrestling. No. Well, like Stallone and over the top. But I'm not sure of all the rules. Don't I need a semi-truck and a 10-year-old son? The rules are, you suck. Let's go. Uh, I want to wait for a more inspiring song. The score isn't right. There we go. I don't like those apples. I'm so upset. Attention Greendale students, don't use the condoms. If you're going to have sex tonight, don't use condoms. Hey, hey! You took all the winter doodles. What are you, a douchebag? They're for my friends, but there's a lot of other cookies left. No, there's only macadamia nut cookies here, okay? I have a tree nut allergy. And you should probably stay away from Christmas tree-shaped cookies. <laughs> that did not even make allergic sense. What are you, an idiot? Okay. We get it. You and the A-team are awesome. Now beat it. Oh, look at that. Pretty boy standing up for bird face over here. Give me a winner doodle. If you're trying to be menacing, maybe don't call the cookie by its name. Oh, you're funny. You're a funny man. Want to hear something funny, funny man? Knock, knock. My fist up your balls. <laughs> Who's there? Oh, oh, oh. Decorative things. Time. Why do you guys do stuff like this? Because it's fun. Yeah. 
This character reboot is really gelling for you, Jeff. That was all classic Hawkeye. Sending soldiers out for liquor, slyly sidestepping the problematic scrutiny of Annie Hotlips Edison. Hmm? I should build you a still for making Hawkeye martinis. Of all your pop culture fixations, this is one I can work with, Abed. Call me Radar. When you've earned it. I like his idea of ironically saying, you go, girl. You go, girl. You go, girl. You do what you think is right. That's enough. Okay. Jeff, what's your favorite episode of M.A.S.H.? The one with uh, the army? That's what I thought. If you'd ever actually seen the show, you'd know that Hawkeye didn't just bed nurses and drink martinis. He also had blood sprayed on his face and barked orders when the choppers came in. If he didn't, people died. He was a leader, Jeff. That's your job. Thank you. Radar. Oh, you made me so happy I just peed a little. About what I'm calling our library's backdoor conundrum. Sounds like a porno with Kate Winslet. Abed, ew. Why are they looking at me like I'm a zoo animal? Well, Jeff X is sort of the dad of the group, so emotionally this is kind of like being told that you're a new mom. But you know it's nothing like that, right? Absolutely. Do you cook macaroni? I have. Macaroni is my favorite. Ooh. Irony? Well, you're not a typically vulnerable or feminine person, mm -hmm. and the act of dancing is considered both vulnerable and feminine. Mm -hmm. At discos, eating cheese on toast Yeah, you made me merry, made me very, very happy But you obviously, you didn't want to stick around So I learned from you Do, 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 da do, do Da do, 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 everybody! Five letters, Broadway musical Annie Uh, six letters, to puncture Pierce Okay Um, a water filter that starts with B Britta Okay is a tough one, though. Um, Helen of... Troy. Oh, damn. You're good. Thank you. I never even heard that last one. All right, uh, one of the two brother actors, Bridges. Four letters. Hmm. I know. Bridges. I don't know. Come on, guys. Can't you see the pattern there? Can you see it? It's Bo. Bo Bridges. These are all things you can see on TV. Except for Pierce. That's a misdirect. Oh. Oh. I love misdirects. I love the Big Lebowski. Hey guys. Hola. Hey, I hope you don't mind. I invited Senor Chang. We're Netflix friends. It's the year 2006 AD, and nuclear war has ravaged the planet. I must have missed that. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Directed by Cam Yang. Asian. Can't direct, can't drive. <laughs> Dude, I'm right here. Right there. When are we doing this again? Well, actually, tomorrow we were all gonna get together. No, but we were all gonna get together tomorrow. I don't know. No, no, right? Tomorrow night, we're all gonna get together to watch Kick Puncher 2, codenamed Punch Kicker. We better change his sniper. <laughs> That's change we can believe in. Okay, obviously something strange is happening here. What do you mean? I'm making jokes during the movie. Yeah, but you're doing it with the speed and determination of the incomparable Robin Williams. Yeah. Pierce, that was deep and total BS. Mm. Yeah, this isn't about us. This is just a deflection because you can't get a genuine laugh. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, maybe we're not a family. Maybe it's more complicated because unlike a real family, there's nothing to stop any one of us from looking at any of the others as a sexual prospect. something up it? Another muffin basket from another actress who wants to be in my next film. Does that work? Yep, Meryl Streep has two Oscars because of her baking. Oh, that's sarcasm, but I forgot to inflect. This sounds way more like sarcasm. Inflection is so interesting. What happened to Britta? Justice. Having spent the year denying her attraction to me just to be alternative, Britta called me at 3 a.m. just to ask, what's up? A drunk dial? Was there BCI? 
Booty call with a capital B. Mm. This can't be good. It's no biggie. We, we give each other crap all the time. Well, that's the point. What crap can she give you now that you hold all the cards? You've shifted the balance like in a sitcom when one character sees another one naked. Is that really a sitcom staple? No, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm Abed. I never watch TV. Okay, cut, 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 cut. Okay, Leo, I'm not feeling it. I really need to believe that you're holding an imaginary duty meter. Jeff, you know Britta's defining weakness. She cuts and runs. If you do this half ass and fail, she may leave. Then we all lose her. That's not gonna happen. Not on my watch. That's a deal breaker. Saddle up. You know, I am sure you're a good director, but you are a horrible drinking buddy. I mean, I can't feel things with you studying me like a beige praying mantis. You're right. I thought you never drank. Scorsese drank with De Niro. It's not for me. It's for the audience. Nazdrovia. <laughs> it's three o'clock. What happened? The last thing I remember is you were dancing like that girl in the movie. Kids in detention? Breakfast club. Dear God, what have you done to me? I don't remember the name of the girl in the breakfast club. Mary. Margaret. Molly Ringworm. You broke me. <laughs> That's the reverse of my zinger from before. Okay, please stop shouting. All right, I feel like that person in the TV show. Oh. oh! 13. This is so romantic. It's just like the notebook, except instead of Alzheimer's, Abed has <clears throat> someone who likes him. Pierce, it doesn't matter what she looks like. This will be great for Abed. It will? Aren't you excited about talking to her? I wasn't planning on it. What? Guys, come on, you heard Abed. He's not interested. Drop it. Jeff, you need to mind your own business. And Abed, you need to get with this girl immediately, if not sooner. Yeah? Abed, for guys like you, this kind of opportunity only comes around once in a life. While. It's important to date in college, Abed. It's a time of freedom and exploration, a time when a simple pillow fight between two innocent girls could turn into a steamy night of unbridled lust. Britta knows all about it. OK, cool. So you guys are going to camp by me love me, right? We're going to what you? You're going to camp by me love me. You know, transform me from zero to hero, geek to chic. That's her? She's pretty, which is not a surprise at all, Abed. OK, Abed, we're going to be here for moral support. Just go over there and do your thing. OK. Remember, be yourself. Got it. Great. Cool. Abed. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm being myself. Go be yourself by Jenny. But I wouldn't go over there. How do you know that? A lifetime of observation, mostly. A different version of me. I think it was a vampire. Look, I know that we're all good people, and good people believe that people should be themselves. But if Abed is himself, he's going to die alone. And if we let him be someone else without our help, right he's going I understand. I need to change who I am to someone more likable. No, 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 sweetie. It's, it's not about changing. It's about learning. Learning to change? That's no, one that's not. Good good. Grief. Clear the chickens off the runway. I'll be the bad guy. Yes? Abed, you need to be someone else, someone who eventually gets a girlfriend, because I can't think of anything more frightening than a, a half Polish, half Arab virgin in his 30s. One way or the other, that story ends with an explosion. Hmm. What are you reading? Pride and Prejudice. So you're familiar with two sins. How about a third? Oh. Well, I don't think we're allowed to smoke in here. Then you picked the wrong outfit. Didn't you? Abed, what are you doing? Don Draper from Mad Men. What'd you think? Calvin. Oh, what are you guys doing? They're teaching me how to be someone else. Oh, for God's sake, what did I tell you guys? Oh, for God's sakes, everybody, do whatever you want. Leave each other alone. Whoa, that's a good Jeff. How'd you do that? 10% Dick Van Dyke, 20% Sam Malone, 40% Zach Braff and Scrubs, and 30% Hillary Swank and Boys Don't Cry. Zach Braff? Sorry. Can we please talk about Abed? Thanks to us, his heart's been broken. Well, I hate to say that I told you so, so I'll shout it through cupped hands. 
I told you so. We were only trying to help. Oh, come on. Who are we kidding? Jeff's right. Abed was happy being Abed, too. We had to sully his mind with thoughts of love and romance and vaginas. Those are the big three. That's what they call them. Poor Abed. He was probably too sad to get out of bed this morning. Hi. Abed. Mm. About yesterday. Oh, yeah. You guys must be pretty upset. W why would we be upset? Well, I know how important it was for you that I get a girlfriend. So when Jenny went off with white Abed, it must have really hurt. Abed, you know we just want you to be happy, right? Yeah, I know. Everybody wants me to be happy. Everybody wants to help me. But usually when they find out they can't, they get frustrated and stop talking to me. Or they trick me into buying them ice cream and then shove me into a clothes dryer. Which I didn't want to happen with you guys, so I want to make sure that you felt like you could help me. The truth is, lots of girls like me because, let's face it, I'm pretty adorable. Mm -hmm. And uh, my aloofness unconsciously reminds them of their fathers, so... I'm more used to them approaching me. So we didn't damage your self-esteem or anything? Bert, I got self-esteem falling out of my butt. That's why I was willing to change for you guys. Because when you really know who you are and what you like about yourself, changing for other people isn't such a big deal. My dad's bringing my cousin Abra. She's visiting from Gaza. Does she look like you, but in a wig and lipstick? No, that's Halle Berry. Abra wears a full burqa in public, so she just looks like someone covered head to toe in black fabric. They're playing hide and seek. Uh, where? I don't think that's how it works. But the nearest body of water is two and a half hours away. Leagues, Abed. We don't measure water by hours. The hilarious guy on guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making falafel. Mm. Not edible. He's a ringer. A what? You know, a con man, a grifter, a ringer. He's an expert potter who signs up for novice classes to impress people. But if he wants to impress people, why join a pottery class? Why not just say, hi, I'm a doctor? I'm, I'm sorry, what is going on here? A twist on a classic formula. Normally with buddy cops, one's a straight-laced stickler and the other's a renegade, but these two have equal claim to both roles. And why are you here? Short answer, my cable went out. Tell them they got 24 hours to solve the case. They do! You have 24 hours to solve it or else! Figure it out! That's the poster. Maybe I want to be in charge of how I'm defined. Well, how do you think I feel? Wait! Go after him on foot. I'm going after him on foot. Cut him off on the other side. I'm cutting him off on the other side! He got away! Excuse me. I have to go to the bathroom. I'll give you the rest of these chocolate covered raisins if you save my seat. Well, I see how that would be frustrating, but the fact is... Your ass is on the line. My ass is on the line. You just got off the phone with the mayor. I just got off the phone with the... What the mayor? Stop doing that! I'm trying to help. You're not doing this right. Well, maybe you should do it. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of making excuses for you two. You're an embarrassment to the department. You're off the case and off the force. Your badges, your windbreakers, now. Now! I ain't got all day agitating my sciatica. I'm too old for this. Now get out of my sight. Thought you were badasses, huh? Real badasses work together. Hmm? All I see is a housewife and a Girl Scout. Hey, Abed! I said get out! And don't even think about getting near this case. Uh-uh. Pretty harsh. Oh, don't worry, that's what they needed. Hey, Abed. Why are you and I the only same? Shh. Just watch. It's beautiful. Speaking of love, Shirley, how's it going with the sexy dreadlock guy? Oh, I'm sure I don't have a chance with him. Abed and I talked to him by the vending machines. He asked about you. He specifically asked about me? When Annie brought you up, he specifically asked, who is that? Abed. Oh. What, that's what he said. Hey, Ben, your social skills aren't exactly streets ahead. Know what I mean? I don't. His dreadlocks remind me of the Predator, which is weird because you're doing the actual hunting, and you seem invisible to him. Abed, you know what I do? Mm -hmm. Before I talk, I ask myself, what am I about to say, and how might it affect each person listening? I'm really glad you said that, Britta. The idea that you compulsively filter yourself makes your like a flavor kind of a flavor. I say we knock him out of the kitchen and replace him with one of our own all in one move. Then we're the ones with the chicken. It's like a mafia movie. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be in a mafia movie. Cool. You make the fingers, Abed, not the decisions. I'm sorry. It's okay, buddy. I agreed to give Chang eight fingers per lunch in exchange for a 10% bump on every Spanish test for each of us. Oh. OK. Six fingers, Wednesdays. All right. We'll be in touch, Janelle. Thank you, Abed. You're welcome. Abed, the Mafia movie is over. I'm not doing a Mafia movie. In fact, I don't need to use movies or TV shows to talk to people anymore. 
Before, I only needed them because the day-to-day -day world made no sense to me. But now, everyone's speaking the same language, chicken. I understand people, and they finally understand me. <laughs> These were the bad times. Abed. What are you doing? Making tater tots. You were right, people got sick of chicken. But I was close. I just need a new food, a new system. I'm gonna experiment with jalapeno poppers next, and then zucchini zirkle. I, I, I don't get it. It's not that complicated, Jeff. They replaced the C in circle with the Z for zucchini. No, no, I mean, I mean, why are you here? You, you said you were close? What were you close to? But to, to, the, to the group? To people? Please don't do a special episode about me. Oh, I wouldn't dream of it. Everyone else needs my help. That's what people don't get, is that they need to get me. I just need to be able to connect to people like you can. Then I can make everyone happy. Maybe we should just stay here and have a plate of chicken fingers. Cool. Can we eat them while sitting on a table like in 16 Candles? Pick one reference, Abed. 16 Candles. Things went back to normal. Now everyone's back to being a bunch of regular schnooks. And I'm back to being a weirdo. Back to watching from the outside. For now. But you know what they'll never make a replacement for? Friends. From my airship. And we'll visit the man in the moon. Hey, hey, hey! What the hell? Hey, what? What the hell? Sorry, I couldn't resist. Smashing the guitar of someone singing a flowing love song was on my quintessential college experience list. Your what? It's a list of everything that movies have taught me comprises a successful first year at college. Yeah, right to my face, because I can take it unlike a certain someone else. Weird. I don't know about your robot, I bet. Boobatron's great. And once someone spills bong water on his circuitry and he comes alive, he's gonna make us the coolest guys on campus and help us get babes. Those are real babes. Who would really laugh at us. Hey, you're my friend, right? Friends are supposed to help each other no matter what. Okay. Ridiculous situation descending into have a handed drama for the illusion of story. Ch -ch -ch. Check. Awesome. All right, I am back in. Thank you. You're welcome. Someone here order a pizza? Is it you guys? It has extra sausage. No. It's big and hot. Um, guys, the last guy almost got me. Alex. No big deal. Nothing's changed. Something's changed. Oh, Abed. <laughs> Crazy Abed. No. Something's different now. Could be me. I'm sporting a man thong. Maybe. So no one feels it. No one senses anything's different? Nope. Not at all. No cure song. Pass that exam or my entire four-year plan will be thrown off. That might be your car, Jeff. What? I was on my roof for the 4th of July and the fireworks set off all the car alarms on the street. That one sounded like a brand new Lexus. Uh, my Lexus isn't brand new. I know. Yours is a 2002. That's the year I heard it. Oh, Annie. No! No! Everyone close their eyes. Do it. Close them. I bet. Close. Oh, don't worry about me. I can only connect with people through... movies. She's the Ark of the Covenant. <gasps> Now, dear Abed, 85. Yeah, I gotta find a new place to live. My dad wants me to leave the nest so he feels less weird that his girlfriend is 20. You could live in a pyramid. <laughs> oh, wait! Abed, your dorm room's got a bunk bed, right? Yep. I like the night time, I'm going to sleep. Got my milk in Don't gag her. It's funny. You know, I, I spent so much time here, 
I forget that we don't live together. Then I think, what if we live together? Yeah, I'm gonna check in the other pack. Last call. Study over. What are you doing? Just giving things a finale vibe. 